You know, from this point of view, it kind of looks like I've been decapitated. I mean, look at, look at, uh, look at that right there. It's kind of like the bloody rim of the neck. If the <laughs> That's gross. Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. We've got a little bit to talk about, a little bit to do, mainly about this guy right here because, oh my, wait, hang on a second. That's the wrong image, didn't mean to, actually, I don't have an image for you. I, I actually have to go in game into the planet to try and do what I'm going to do because uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, we might talk a little bit about the image I just showed you though, because uh, there's been some interesting developments. So yeah, apparently this intro was changed and updated too, but from what I understand, there were just some shake effects added and some uh, some other stuff, I guess. So it's not really something we're going to look at. I think they need to fix these islands because they're pretty flat. I'm just going to go ahead and zip on through that because no one wants to sit around for that. Okay, maybe I should just speed one now. Okay, so they did change the intro a little bit. We're just going to take a look at that real quick because it gives you even more direction now. And it's kind of just uh, cut to the chase. Looks. That did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. So yeah, that's basically the dialogue that was changed. Uh, it seems like they're constantly iterating on what they've done so far with the game. Kind of interesting to see the new voice lines. I can only imagine what they're paying out for this, this budget for voice acting because there's so many variations that they've scrapped and there's so many variations of what we've seen in game. It wouldn't surprise me if we did another playthrough that we, well, we see a bunch of different new voice lines that we just haven't heard or had any notion of before. Anyways, that's not why we're here. I wasn't expecting the stasis rifle to be in the game. Uh, does it work? Oh yeah, it works! So, <laughs> stasis rifle isn't supposed to be something that's accessible in Below Zero. Uh, apparently it's still in the game file, so I could spot it, as you can see by the glowing white light that's there. And it's gonna help out immensely, I hope, for what I have planned. That was that was weird you guys there hello hello okay um lost you for a second there that was weird um what we wanted to talk about at least what i wanted to talk about is uh it's down here somewhere you are ah there's your bones i found your bones and that means you're gonna be right here come on don't be shy there you go hey little guy how you doing so we're gonna talk about our favorite cup of milk the ice worm now, what's the deal with the ice worm right now? Uh, this is the deal with the ice worm. I showed it. I don't care about hypothermia. Oh, uh, this is the deal about the ice worm. I had shown you this last year, and I feel... I genuinely feel like the developers might have forgot to do something because, um... Actually, it's a pretty big oopsie if they did forget it because, you know, it's kind of a big deal. Unless it's been scrapped. I asked the dev about it, and, well, we're going to be doing just that just to see if it works. But anyways... So what you just heard is the sound this creature made on its death. If the ice worm was to die, that is the sound. Obviously, there would be a custom animation of it crashing to the ground, so on and so forth. But to my knowledge, I have never killed an ice worm, and I don't think it's a leviathan that can be killed in-game as of right now. And with the game so close to being finished, I'm kind of questioning if they forgot about our friendly little guy right here. So what I'm gonna do besides rub my hands for some warmth is I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill an ice worm. And then, well, we're gonna talk about the skeleton we saw, obviously, and uh, I might move into some of my survival series stuff, seeing as I do have some things on the agenda to get done, and I might have time to get it done as well in this video. So anyways, let's go ahead. We're gonna move over to the ice worm territory now, see if we can get one in the world. Uh, and if I can, I'd like to freeze it with the stasis rifle. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't think I can hit it from... Oh, okay, yeah, it doesn't have the range for it. What are you eating? Uh, okay, uh, it ate a snow stalker. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, poor little guy. Hey, they polished it a little bit, it looks like. Uh-oh. I better make sure this actually works. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, okay, yeah, it works. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, all right. Hello? Ice worm? Hello? 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 Hi. Out play. Hello? Hello, guy? You got a snack over here. Ow. That uh, sucks to suck, huh? You can't do anything to me. Yeah, I'll keep on stabbing you. I'll keep stabbing you. I don't care. Ah, you're dead. What happened? Oh, little guy, what happened? It's, oh, your tongue is broken. I don't think it's supposed to go sideways in your mouth like that. 
That's it's like it rotated. Ew. Uh oh, here it comes. There you are. Did I freeze you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, full power. Oh what? No. Freeze. Freeze. Fre ah, stop! Okay. Uh, I don't think this stasis rifle is gonna do the do. Uh this might be a bit harder than I thought. Oh god, I messed up. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um Can you and I just make the agreement that that didn't happen? Yeah, we can? Okay, sounds good. You gonna get me? No, you're not. Eh. Ooh, yeah, ha. That's right. Oh, ah, 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 no, 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 no. Ah. Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there you are. Freeze, sucker. Oh, wait, what the hell? It ate it. Ate it. What? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell is happening? What is wrong with you? Oh, oh, you're staying still. Wait, your shadows are just messed up. Can I freeze you? Freeze! Ah! Damn it! Oh, shit. Oh, sh uh, uh, that hit you. That hit you. You can't act like it didn't. Can I stab you? Ow, it hurt me. Yeah, I, I can't damage it. Wait a second. Are you telling me? <laughs> oh my God. I can. They must have upgraded. Oh, wait. They, ah! Oh God! Ah! Ah! No! No! What? What? Whoa! He ate it! I, that was mine! That guy just straight up came up out of the ground and yoinked that! Oh my God! Dude! That was. It was literally my pet! I, I was taking it for a walk that was his leash, you damn! What the hell? What the hell kind of game is this? I was walking my messed up dog. What the hell? It's kind of cool I can pick it up though. So, um, ha, it appears. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, wait, can I? I bet I could grab it. I bet I could grab it. What if I. Latch on! Latch on! I can't. I can't do the doo to it. Ah! Come on! So I literally, you just, you can't interact with the ice worm, it looks like. Like it just, you cannot do anything with it. The interesting thing though, is uh, I didn't know this happened. So by proxy of experimentation, we actually found something. The exosuit has actually been significantly updated. I feel at least, and it feels very damn good. Can I pick my bike up? No, I can't, but the exosuit feels really good. It looks like there is a speed boost as well as the vertical thrust. I'm going to have to take it in water to test it out more. And clearly the ice worm does a lot. Oh my God. A lot of upgraded damage to the exosuit. Before it did like nothing. And now it's like, hey, uh, come on, come on. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to stab. I'm going to stab. I'm going to stab you. Oh, eh? why aren't you dying? Okay. All right. I give up. I, oh shit. Wait, what the hell? Wait, you're not one of these. You're not. Oh, you're the old one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The old one still hurts. Hey, the Sea Emperor still works too. That's cool, I guess. So it looks like the exosuit has a thruster now for a speed boost if you wanted to go forward and the vertical thruster as well. Uh, both can be operated at the same time. I actually, I had no idea that they upgraded this suit like this. And they obviously have new sounds for when you're turning and when you're doing stuff. This feels significantly better. Like, it feels like the exosuit is definitely worth having. I'm actually, this is gonna be the first thing I make in the survival series. Like, I have to make this now when I go back to doing that. Like, this feels like a must have. Genuinely feels like a must have, but it seems the bar on the bottom right that basically gives you your thruster power or whatever's left, uh, that drains significantly faster if you, uh, if you utilize both at the same time. Like, I'm just using space bar right now and then shift and it like doubles the amount of speed that it goes down by. It's interesting that I can grab the snow stalker, but I can't grab this guy. Maybe that's a bug. But I could grab Jerry and Jerry could come with us. You have you have so much control over where you go in the water now. Like so much control. And you move so fast. Look at this. This is so sick. I got my little Jerry with me. I could make it to this if I wanted to. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, eat Jerry, eat Jerry! No, no, no! Okay, all right, that's fine. I'm gonna grab onto you. 
Now what? Well, you got... Oh, God. Oh, God. Um... I don't think this is the way I want to go. Uh, oh, my thruster's not strong enough. But I'm letting out some rope, so that's cool. I'm going to hitch a ride with you. Okay, no. Uh, okay, all right. I'm moving. You're not breaking the hull, so I don't know what you're trying to do. So honestly, all we really have left to do is look at the Void Leviathan, see if that has changed. I would like to see if it has a cinematic attack now. Uh, and I want to check out the end game area as well. I'm kind of curious to know if they've done anything with that. If I kill you, do you still have that bug? I used to be able to interact with it when it was dead. Oh, you look so sad. Oh, you poor little guy. Can I interact with you still? No, I can't. Oh, you're so sad. Oh, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Where are you to, little void leviathan? I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna... Oh, oh God. Okay, there you are. Wow, you look so damn good. You look better than I remember, actually. Uh, I don't think anything has changed with it. Let me just go ahead and almost stasis you. Now what? Oh, it's got to suck. What happens if I kill you? And you're dead. Well, that guy almost got me. That was close. So it doesn't really have a death animation. It kind of just goes limp. The eyes even stay open. It's kind of weird. Yeah, wow. It is actually huge. Look at that. Oh, that's freaky. All right, time to head back. I have something else to talk to you about. Okay, we're back in here. Okay. Oh, um. That went, wait, it went right through the windshield? What? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. So, uh, this beautiful guy right here. Obviously, you know what it is. The gargantuan leviathan. And it was shown earlier in this video. This is the skeletal structure of the creature. The bones, the what we saw in the Lost River was just the skull and a little bit of the, uh, I think, body itself like right here. So uh, now that I think about it, I don't even think I'm supposed to show you this, but I'm, I'm showing you anyways. I guess it's easier for me to just show you and then ask for forgiveness later, but it's so badass, I kind of, I kind of just can't not show you you know besides there's tons more stuff that's happening that you guys don't know about yet this is the skeleton of the gargantuan leviathan what we see in the lost river is basically a third of this creature down to its spine i, I think about like right here or something and then the rest of it is pretty well hidden away because it's you know it's just not in the game world but we do have a complete skeleton as it stands right now of this creature. And we have more sounds as well of the creature. I was actually in a meeting with the uh, mod developers of this creature a while ago, and they were talking about having eggs and baby leviathans and stuff like that. They're trying to do something unique with the creature and give it an entire life cycle, to my understanding, where it hatches from an egg and then it will you know, go into the world somewhere and I assume from there it's either going to stay in a baby state and you can keep it that way like traditional Subnautica or maybe it will grow uh, and progressively get bigger in the world. I would say the latter where, or no, the, the, what I just said about it being in the egg, you hatch it and you keep it as a pet, you know, in, in alien containment or something like that. And there's also a below zero version of this in production too, I believe. Regardless, I did just want to speak about this creature for a second because um, it's been over a week since I've spoken about it and shown you anything. They're still doing some pretty cool stuff with it. I act I can't wait to see what they finalize with it. There's some surprises coming down the pipeline now, apparently, and it's going to be pretty damn cool. On top of everything I've just shown you, there was actually something kind of cool that happened and I learned something interesting about the Ice Dragon Leviathan, which I'm sure you're going to want to know about as well because it was a candidate for Subnautica Below Zero. Unfortunately, it was cut from the game and, uh, well, we're going to touch base on that because I'm going to try and do some stuff with it. I was invited to a very exclusive Subnautica Below Zero preview with some influencing marketing companies and the developers themselves who were joined joined in on this call. There's a lot of us here, obviously, as you can see in the list. I mean, we, we had a ton of people that were here from YouTubers to traditional press, um, just so many different people. But anyways, this was under embargo for a while. I wasn't allowed to speak about this until like uh, the start of this month, but well, I'm only making a video now because I'm slow.
Regardless, we got to learn a lot about Subnautica Below Zero. Just normal, basic stuff, though, for traditional media, because mm, you and I, I mean, if you're watching my videos or, well, or any other YouTuber that plays Subnautica currently on the experimental branch, well, then you're even more up to date than what the traditional media is. Take some pride in that. Pat yourself on the back. I'm clapping for you. But no, we had a great Q&A session. Um, it's kind of weird because I, I'm, we weren't allowed to record what actually happened in this session, but they spoke about Subnautica from start to end basically and it, there wasn't really too many revelations i thought this would be like we'd get a, a press copy of the game and be able to check out the ending and see what was going on with it and obviously if we got that i wouldn't be able to show you um no one would actually be allowed to show you until the embargo was over but uh that didn't happen it was literally just us sitting down with the devs answering questions asking questions doing questions 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 so many more questions and questions and i had a question about the uh ice dragon leviathan so I pretty much asked what the driving factor was that resulted in the ice dragon being removed from the game, even though it was completely modeled because on Sketchfab, like we do see there is an entire damn model of this thing. It looks great. And I'm sure you and I were both equally excited to see this in the game. The response was that every creature that goes into the game has a cost beyond the initial modeling. They have to rig it and animate it. Behaviors need to be implemented. Level designers need to place the creature in the world. Giant creatures, leviathans, need a lot more space and typically we want to have room to play. For them to do the ice dragon justice, they would have had to basically make a unique biome and at some point they decided that it just wasn't it didn't it didn't make sense with the production cost of the creature and where the game was going with the story but they uh they know that you guys love the design and <laughs> perhaps they're gonna find a home for it someday now what i wanted to do and i, I highly doubt this is gonna happen obviously because i can't confirm or deny anything but what i would like to do is I'd like to get my hands on this model. Just like I have permission to do stuff with the Frozen Leviathan right now, as long as it's mod only, not redistributed for profit and stuff like that. And obviously, Subnautica devs own all the assets. I would never overreach like that and, you know, take the creature and, you know, sell it to like a market or something. Um, but the idea that I had was one, take the Frollo and bring it to life with animations, all that stuff, because the model's there. Everything's pretty much there. It just needs to be animated and, and you know, some other stuff needs to happen too, bones and all that this stuff. The that you get the you idea. But I would love to get my hands on the model for the Ice Dragon Leviathan, because I know for a fact I would mess around with that and I would definitely get something done with that too. This place is a little bit messed up. What? Ha okay, all right, never mind. I thought something changed in here, but uh, I guess not. Um, obviously, this is the end game area. I wanted to jump in here real quick because I was curious to see, is there anything different in here? And no, I don't think there is anything different in here right now. It doesn't appear at least. Alan isn't here just yet. Uh, there's no story spoilers, no nothing. And it looks like it's going to stay that way for a while at least. But I think that was the last thing i wanted to speak with you about in relation to this but let me know what you think down below in the comment section do you think it's too much to bring the frollo to life like actually bring it to life through a modification for the game do you think it'd be it'd be cool would you be interested to see this thing walking on land moving around would you want to know what it would have roared like obviously with the roars i would need to speak with the developers so i can envision what they would like to hear because i mean there's it, it's an actual modeled creature so i'd like to have their input on that but it all it all comes down to them and their thoughts and feelings on it too i'm super interested to hear about it though i'm gonna take on some extra sponsorships so i can stockpile a little bit of money to the side so i can make this happen because obviously it's expensive to do that kind of thing but it's so damn cool and i like i'd love to recreate the uh, the idea that Corey had to have it so like it was like a vision with alan but I mean, that's a lot more intensive, obviously. Anyways, guys, that is it for now on Subnautica Below Zero. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section about bringing the Frollo to life in a modification for Subnautica Below Zero and the Ice Dragon as well. The Ice Dragon is significantly less likely since I would have to be given assets from Unknown Worlds that they paid for. And well, if it's not publicly accessible, it's kind of not fair for me to just be handed, you know, a model that costs literally thousands upon thousands of dollars for them to create but that's intent that's that's up to them too if they want to do it i'm i'm not gonna hold any ill will against them if, if they decide not to it's their property just like everything else in this game but okay guys that's it leave a like if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one